one way that we thought we could really help out was this dire shortage of PPE that um, physicians and other healthcare workers were really uh, vocal about on, on social media. More than 70 medical students from across the GTHA have banded together to help frontline workers in the fight against COVID-19. They are doing this with the help of a 3D printer. We're using 3D printing technology to make face shields, which are a form of personal protective equipment that can help prevent the spread of uh, viruses uh, that spread through droplet contact. And I can show you an example of one that I have here. This is what it looks like. Um, and this takes about 20 minutes to make. To date, the group has produced nearly 2,000 face shields and delivered them to various local hospitals. They've also been getting help from people from across the country, like this 12-year-old boy from Quebec who got a 3D printer for his birthday. He heard about this initiative and decided to help. It's been really inspirational for us to see that people from all walks of life are, are really coming forward and, and, and doing whatever they can to support not just our initiative, but uh, really uh, unite together as one humanity and try to uh, defeat coronavirus or COVID-19. The students believe this is the least they can do as they are still training to be on the front lines themselves. An unfortunate situation that we can't be there and, and work alongside these physicians uh, while they treat this, this once in a century pathogen. Um, but I think at the same time, it's been really inspirational uh, to, to see uh, these role models, these people who one day uh, we're going to be working with as colleagues and, and learning from. Uh, it's been really amazing to see them set this example of, of working tirelessly, putting others before themselves. The group is looking for as much help as they can get. They say that the current demand exceeds 20,000 face shields. If you'd like more information, head to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Brandon Rose, City News.